This is a Euphoria Season 2 Episode 6 follow-up video with things I missed as well as a correction from the last video. Marshall told Nate that he changed at around 8 or 9 years old, so I had assumed that his change happened when he found his father's CD collection. Underscore N underscore pointed out that the show specifically stated that Nate found the CD collection when he was 11 years old. So if Marsha's timeline is correct, then something else may have happened to Nate a few years before he found the CDs. And fun fact, a lot of the backstories took place when the kids were 11 years old. When Kat was 11 years old, she went on a family vacation to Sandals, Jamaica. She gained some weight, and her boyfriend broke up with her. When Jules was 11 years old, her mother took her on a road trip. But it wasn't a road trip. They left her at a psychiatric hospital. And last but not least, when Rue was 11 years old, her father was diagnosed with cancer. A few months later, she had a panic attack. When she got to the hospital, they gave her liquid Valium to calm her down. When it hit me, I thought, this is it. So Nate wasn't the only person to have a life-changing event at 11 years old, and as underscore and underscore pointed out, Marcia said eight or nine years old. So something may have happened to Nate a couple of years before he found the CDs, or her memory may have just been foggy. Next topic, Samantha and the hidden camera. In the last video, I mentioned the smile, you're on camera sign in Maddie's room and wondered if it was just a nod to the CD or if she now has footage of Nate with the gun in her room. A lot of you pointed out something that I had missed. There appears to be a camera on the alarm clock at Samantha's house. Maddie often tries on Samantha's clothes and everyone is different, but if Samantha found out, she strikes me as the type of person who would get a kick out of it. But it does beg the question, why did the show zoom down in on that camera? It may foreshadow Maddie stealing something in the final two episodes, but that doesn't feel right. For now, I tend to believe that this shot was just a nod to the motif of people being unknowingly recorded. One example was Cal recording Jules, and a more recent example is Ash recording Faye. As a reminder, when Faye went outside, Ash had gone potty. When she came back in, he was suspicious. The era pointed out that Ash has security footage. Since he was suspicious of Faye, he may go rewind a few minutes and see Faye talking to Custer, and if so, that would be great news. After all, none of us want to see Fez or Ash go to prison. Side note, what happened to Mouse's body? Jess believes that Fez buried it at the construction yard, and I can get behind this. Cal has been MIA, so who knows, maybe Cal will find the body. DJ Onyx noted that Samantha was in this episode, but the father was nowhere to be seen. He wonders if they are going to make a move on Maddie. Here's my stance on that. When I first saw Samantha this season, I thought that she was trying to hook up with Maddie, but I had just seen this actress for the first time ever last year when catching up on Titans. She's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. So my initial take on her first scene with Maddie was admittedly biased since I look at her in such a superficial way. But on back of episode 6, I no longer see it that way. Now I'm leaning more into the idea that Maddie is babysitting and Maddie admires Samantha. She looks up to her. Since Samantha is a mother, I now believe that Samantha's arc plays into the idea of Maddie being pregnant. A second possible takeaway from that last scene of them is that Samantha may have convinced Maddie to give Cassie another shot of friendship. Of course, that could backfire now that Cassie is sleeping over at Nate's. There is a lot of foreshadowing to Maddie being pregnant, and the timeline works. Nate stood up Cassie and went over to the babysitter's house at the end of episode 3 into the beginning of episode 4, so they may have hopped on the good foot and done the bad thing. But Jess pointed out that Cassie was pregnant in Nate's fever dream, so we should keep that on our radar as well. That may foreshadow Cassie being pregnant, and if she is, that could be a problem. Caitlin pointed out that time and time again, Nate has been violent. In season one, Nate choked Maddie. Nate then beat up Tyler and framed him for the assault. Nate got all up in McKay's grill during the New Year's Eve party, and in the last episode, Nate held a loaded gun to Maddie's head and he pulled the trigger twice when holding it to his own head. So Nate clearly needs help, and until he gets that, everyone around him is at risk. In fact, when his own mother made a joke about him being violent, he took offense and began to see red. Marsha paused for a second and made a joke about him not choking her too. So she made light of the situation, but it did seem as if even his own mother was afraid of him, and she should have been. He is a loose cannon. Now, Cassie is over there with him, and her entire support system is gone, so she is in a very dangerous situation, especially if it turns out that she is pregnant. Nate hates his father, but if either of the girls are pregnant, it would serve as yet another reminder that he is so very similar to him, and that may cause Nate to rage. 
From a marketing perspective, I doubt that the show wants to lose a popular actress like Sydney Sweeney. But from a storytelling perspective, it's not far-fetched to think that Nate might harm or even kill one of them.